Delete was right. Look at all these cyber raccoon nests. The perfect place for Sparkle Toes to burrow. But where are all the cyber raccoons? Who can sleep in a bed this messy? No wonder they left. No cyber raccoons and no Sparkle Toes. But there are sparkles, so she was definitely here. Maybe she was the one to mess up all the leaves. At least we know we're on her trail. Wait, there are two trails of sparkles. Sparkle Toes has purple sparkles, but these are red. Maybe there are two floofers. Better call Inez. Inez, we're at Piccadilly Prairie and we just missed Sparkle Toes, but we think there might be two of them now. What? Uh, two? Uh-oh. I didn't see this before. Did anyone feed Sparkle Toes sugar or treats of any kind? Uh-uh. Me either. Why? Because if Floovers eat any sugar, they can double three times in a day. So if Sparkle Toes doubles at breakfast, now we have two Floovers. What? Two Floovers? Isn't that great? Not exactly. By lunch, both of those Floovers will double. Two Floovers plus two Floovers is four Floovers. By dinner time, all four Floovers will double again. And we'll have four Floovers plus four Floovers, which is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Floovers. Then the next morning, if they double again, there will be... Eight Floovers plus eight Floovers is 16 Floovers. That's a lot of destruction for the animals who normally live here. Yikes! I just inspired her to leave. But now Harmony is sad. What do I do, Buzz? I want Harmony to be happy. What if she finds out I'm the one that lets Sparkle Toes loose? Uh, uh. <laughs> hmm. According to our chart, Sparkle Toes likes carrots. So maybe she's around here somewhere. Sparkle Toes! Are you here, Sparkle Toes? Looks like she was. These carrot plants are all chewed up. Sparkle Toes must have been hungry. You hear that? I don't hear anything. Me either. There are usually bees around here, but I don't hear them buzzing around. That's really strange. Bees? Bees pollinate carrot plants. If there aren't enough plants for the bees to pollinate, the bees have to go somewhere else. Without the bees to pollinate them, the carrots can't make seeds. Then the carrots won't grow next season. But George needs carrots. We gotta find those flowers and get them home. They don't belong out here. Look! Four colors of sparkles. That must mean there are four flowers now. <laughs> Yikes! They should change the name of this place from Muddy Marsh to Messy Marsh. No kidding. No frogs, no turtles, no insects that you would usually find in a marsh. Sparkle Toes was here all right. This is what the plants are supposed to look like. Well, we know she likes to splash in the water. She probably scared everyone away. Not just Sparkle Toes. There were four floofers. Now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They doubled again. I hate to see this, Harmony, but these floofers are an invasive species. An invasive species? Yeah, you know, animals that do damage when they're in a new place that isn't their home. I'm thinking floofers do a lot better in their own home 
where there's plenty of space for them to dig tunnels and eat lots of plants and splash around in the water. And by being here, they make it difficult for the animals that already live here. The cyber raccoons that live in the prairie. And the bees that help the carrots grow in the meadow. And the frogs and turtles that should be swimming in the marsh. But the bloopers don't mean to be mean. They're not being mean. They're just being, well, bloopers. Maybe they'd be happier back where they came from. But I just really love... Sparkle Toes! <laughs> Isn't she just the cutest? Aw, she really is. But if they keep doubling three times a day, by tomorrow, they'll be 16, then 32, then 64? Where are they all going to live? And how much more damage will they do? But I really, really, really want to keep her. Oh, I understand how hard it is to give up a pet. But what if she's not really happy here? Let me show you something. This is Chester. He's a Nutria. I took him home when I found him in the rain. I took really good care of him. But he just wasn't happy inside. He didn't have the things he needed, so he started to make big messes. It was so hard to take him back where he belonged. But it was the right thing to do. And now, you have Gatito. Exactly! An animal that doesn't belong in the wild. Just think about it, okay? Boys, they're back! They've got sparkle toes! And a bunch more! Did you say more fluvers? You're back with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight adorable creatures! Hooray! There'll be 16 by the morning. You really want me to keep 16 fluvers here? <clears throat> that would make you happy? It really would, Unky. But... <sighs> we need to take them back home. Fluvers don't belong here. Yeah! <laughs> Harmony, I'm very proud of you. Me too. she belongs. I know. I just wanted to say goodbye. Sparkle toes! Let's give them a minute. You're doing the right thing. I'm gonna miss you, Sparkle Toes. I loved playing with you. We were gonna be best friends. But I know you'll be happier here than you would be with me. You need to be with your family. Goodbye, Sparkle Toes. I'll never forget you. And I'll never wash this shirt again, so I'll always remember you. And don't forget the hacker. <laughs> it's okay, Anki Hacker. We're doing the right thing. And maybe someday we can come back and visit her. You're just so good. Why don't you go make us some cocoa? Oh, okay. Thanks for helping me find Sparkle Toes. And thank you for helping us catch the rest of the fluvers. They all look super happy to be back home. 
Yeah, they really do. Watch your favorite shows anytime on the PBS Kids video app.